Okay, hey, welcome back to Vazi Callahan's Word of Advice. And continuing on with the videos which relate to you and me and everyone else, and videos which are on the topic of making choices. For this video, I wanted to talk about a topic which I hope you understand by the title of it. It's called Choosing Against Bad Popular Views. And if you're a little confused on what I mean by that, the way I define this title is when you are saying no to something which a lot of people, the majority, say is okay, but in reality, this popular choice, for example, is not a good thing that you're doing. Perhaps some people or a lot of people believe that this decision will be okay, but you could get hurt from it or you could hurt others by doing it, or you could get in trouble with the law. I'm sure maybe you could think of plenty of examples of these kinds of choices that I'm talking about. Sadly in life, there are sometimes going to be a lot of people who are thinking, yeah, let's go along and make this choice, even though technically the law may not approve of it, and they may try to convince other people to join in on this decision as well. I've been there before where others have tried to persuade me to make a bad choice, and sadly, this bad choice seemed to be popular along some friends and other people. And I can tell you that it's not always easy to say no. However, if you use your common sense, and you really think about a decision that you could make. And, well, in this case, if people are trying to, to convince you to do something bad, say no to it. Get yourself out of that situation. I know it may not be cool, or you may not think it's fun when some people call you a chicken, or they may think you're lame, or they may think you're a wimp. Sometimes, some people are going to say some pretty harsh words, or some people may just act like jerks whenever you say no to a decision which is bad, and it seems to be popular with other people. Peer pressure is not always fun, and hey, maybe sometimes an older crowd may be convincing you, convincing you to do something that's not so cool as well. You know, there are various types of people who may try to persuade you to do something which is bad, but no matter what, say no to a bad decision. Even if it seems like there are more people who are trying to tell you it's okay, just say no to it. It's better to make a right decision and be called a wimp or a lame by some people who don't know better, instead of making a bad decision, and then getting yourself hurt or getting yourself into trouble with the law. Sometimes it may not always be easy to think to yourself, what is a bad idea when others are trying to tell you that it's okay? But use your head. Think for yourself. One thing I like to do also is that I like to read the Bible, and I can tell you that the Bible has always provided instructions which can relate to decisions that I make today in my life. That's the best source that I've gone to when it comes to my decision making, and hopefully as well in your life, besides reading the Bible, there are other smart people in your life who can pass on wisdom and experience to you and they can tell you what better decisions are to make in life. In the end, don't worry if some people are going to say some mean things to you, or, heck, in some cases, don't worry if some people may want to walk out of your life because you are saying no to a bad decision. It's always better. It is always, always better to make the right decision instead of making a bad decision. I can tell you that I do not regret turning away from a bad decision and getting made fun of or losing some friends. 
I do not regret that. Sure, it's it hurt at first when some people have said some mean things or when some people have walked out of my life, but I have always been happier making the right choice and I hope you always will be too when you make the right choice. So in the end, that is my advice. Make the right decision and if some people are trying to tell you that a bad decision is okay, or if a lot of people are trying to tell you a bad decision is okay, you really got to think to yourself, what is the right idea? Go with the right idea and I wish you the best of luck when it comes to making the right decisions in life. So with that, this is all I have to say for this word of advice video and I certainly hope what I've had to talk about in this video has made sense and will be handy for you. Be sure to come back for another word of advice video.